Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Destiny and welcome back to the channel. So in this one, we're going to go ahead and start working with the vendor detail view. And you remember from the last video, we worked on the vendor list view where we listed out all the vendors. And this one, we're going to be showing the detail of the vendor. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as you really mean the world to me. I drop videos almost on a daily basis and you're really going to enjoy taking tutorials from this channel. And also you want to get a template, check out the link in the description. They should point you to the right direction to get a template. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Now we simply need to write a view for it and um, that view is going to be in the views.py. Let's say it's going to be something very, very related to this. So I'm just going to copy this and put it down here. Hopefully you guys are getting a, a grab of what we've we'll been doing. We've been kind of repeating ourselves, um, getting things from the database, listing it out, creating templates, URLs and all that. So for this one, I'm, I'm going to say get and want to get one vendor, right? Yeah. So I'm going to say VID. So this VID is pretty much what we did over here in the CID. If you understood everything that went on here, then I'm sure this is not going to be a problem for you to pick up so we're going to pass in vid over here now we need to say vid should be equal to vid so just like i explained that vid the first vid is coming from the vendor over here and uh this other vid is this one i will pass in here so um that's pretty much it but this one is going to be vendor because it's just one vendor but you could still pass in the vendor so it doesn't really mean as i'd say that you could call this burrito or whatever you want now, instead of list, this one is going to be vendor detail the HTML. So I'm going to copy this and I'm going to create a template like that over here. Right click and I'm going to create a template. And now we need to create a URL for it also. So I'm just going to duplicate this one. And instead of vendors, I'm just going to have vendor. And over here, I'm going to have VID. Okay. So that's it. This is going to be detail, vendor detail view. And I think we need to import this from core.views. It's imported. And this one is going to be vendor detail. Okay. So with this vendor detail now, if we copy this vendor detail thing and we come over to the vendor list, take a close look at what's going to happen. And in the for loop where we, we are listing out all the vendors, remember for vendor in vendor, this one over here. If I, if I get rid of this and I make it a URL, I'm going to make it a URL and I'm going to say call slash dash i'm gonna say v the vid hopefully you guys already know what's going on here because i'm not really doing a whole lot of explanations because i've been explaining all this in depthly when we started off that's why i'm just you know trying to flow along with the tutorial and just create this as we are going and explain some things that i haven't said before hopefully you guys are understanding everything that's going on here if you don't drop a comment in the comment section below i always reply all your comments now with this now if we come over here now and refresh this and yeah, we we'll click on any of these guys over here. So we click on this image or this title, or we we'll click on visit store. Let's also put this link on visit store. So I'm just gonna grab this and um, I'm gonna put this in visit store. So where is the visit store? There is this is it over here. I'm just gonna put it over there. And now in the vendor detail, what I just want to do is say vendor.title. Okay, so now if we refresh this and visit the store, take note of what we're gonna see. We're gonna see Nestlefy. What do you notice? Netlify. And also, if we click on this, what do you notice? We get this fix. Dynamically, all this is happening. And if you take a close look, you see that we are passing this in using this ID. So if for, for any reason we are we are gonna just you know get rid of the H and change it to, to J. If we start, then you're gonna see vendor matching query does not exist. But if we change that J back to H, then it's gonna get that from the database. As simple as that. Now let's go ahead and change up this and go ahead and change up all this. But before that, I'd want to add in one more field to the model and the vendor, and that one is going to be cover image. So I'm going to say cover underscore image, and I think that should be it. Let's just go ahead and run the server. But before we run the server, I want to change up the template. So let's see if we're going to be adding more things to the, to the, to the model. So I want to copy this vendor detail template, get the template from the link in the description, and you're going to get, you got to follow along with the coding. Okay. So with this now, I'm just going to grab this and over here, I'm going to say header. This is it. I'm going to minimize this and also minimize this one. And I want to get rid of everything in the header. We've been doing this for a very long time. Hopefully you guys already understand what's going on. Now I'm going to copy everything all the way to the bottom. And um, just over here, I'm going to end block. And I want to remove all this, those part things that, that have been showing up over here. I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm going to get rid of this one get rid of this and finally get rid of that so with all this now if i refresh this it says no such column cover image so we need to go ahead and run 
but before I run anything I want to open up my vendor detail too here so I'll see how the template looks like and see if I'm gonna add anything to the model so we got image we got this we got a, this is the cover image that I just added right now that we're gonna be adding so um I think that's pretty much what I want let's go ahead and run the the server so I'm gonna say python manage the py rather let's run the migration and the migrate so python manage the py migrate and and also we run this so right now we very refresh this this should be working perfectly well but we need to go ahead and change up all the information that's why we are not seeing anything over there so right now i'm just gonna look for this over here now this one should be the the vendor image i think so i'm just gonna say vendor dot image dot url and now let's refresh this and see what we got that's the vendor image and also we need to pass in the cover image so i'm just gonna grab this and this is where we need to put it just get rid of the png all the way to this part and this one is gonna be cover underscore image cover underscore image the url and we're gonna get our cover image but we don't have anything for the cover image yet so that's gonna be a problem for us i'm just gonna come over to the admin and come over to the vendors over here and i'm gonna open up one of the vendors the one that we've been using and i'm gonna add a cover image for for them now for the for the cover image i'm gonna come over to images and i'm gonna come out to vendor i want to choose one of this and also for the file i want to choose one of this now so you know this looks way more better than than the other you know images that will be that will be using and also for the destiny over here for the desk fix i want to change this vendor i'm going to come over here to the cover image and i want to choose the, the same cover image doesn't really mean you could choose whatever you want and for this one i'm going to choose i'm just going to choose um we could just choose this one no big deal and i'm going to say d food okay um, or i'm going to say x food whatever then i'm going to go ahead and save this so right now we've already not this one but this one now we can see we got nature food we got this we got yeah i think that should be let's go ahead and start changing out all the information so since when that should be vendor dot date pipe date then we get a year we've been doing this before hopefully you guys already know that and this one over here should be vendor dot title and um this one should be the description right so this should be vendor dot description now this one should be the this one should be the address so this and this should be the address this is going to be vendor dot address okay and that one is going to be for this one over here rather this this one is supposed to be vendor dot contact and that's supposed to be that now this one is going to be vendor dot address but i need to remove all this and I, i'm going to i'm going to do it out again i'm going to i'm just going to say vendor address now let's refresh this so this is what we got there's the, the address the main street there's the 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 number that we're gonna call and let's see if we break this onto new lines how does it look okay what am i doing I'm just gonna break this into new lines okay i think this looks way way better right this looks way better but the problem is just from here four five seven so they gotta share that part and that doesn't really make any sense to me and this one takes four this one takes eight this one takes is there anyone that's taking one okay i think i think that should be it right i think that should be it but this social media thing over here that's what we need that's what we just did out of i'm just gonna say ctrl shift p and i'm gonna pass in auto django let's refresh this so this is the social media thing that i'm talking about and um we need to we need to get rid of the static over here for the image and we need to get rid of this and also i think that should be it problem problem so we need to get rid of this one also so um after removing this also let's go ahead and refresh i'm just gonna get back here and refresh so that's it it's working and i think that should pretty much be it but now we need to come over here and list out all the whole products that this particular vendor have got right so in order to do that, I'm going to come over to the views and I, I want to write a simple product, a simple query for that. I'm going to say products should be equal to, and this one is going to be pro products dot objects dot, this one should be the filter. And I want to filter by vendor should be equal to vendor. So this direct read over here is the same thing that we did for this category thing over here. And also we want to make sure that 
the product is actually published before they could see it. So pass that in over there. Remove the comma. Pass in the products in here. Uh oh. So we need to pass in the products in there. Copy the key. Come over to the vendor detail. And let's start off from let's start from here. So we found instead of 29 items, I'm gonna say products.count and we should see whatever pro, how many products they got. We use two and we need to show up all the products over here. So we need to run a for loop on all these dummy products. Now let's go ahead and start doing that. So I think there should be one over here. Collapse this, collapse this one. This is product creed. We need, to, we need to see where one of the products end. So if we collapse, okay, that's it. So those are the ones that we, uh oh, that's not it. Let's see. I'm gonna collapse this. Okay, this is what we are supposed to collapse over here. This one, okay. Actually, there's a problem. So let's see what the problem is. I'm gonna open up this one. I'm gonna open up this one also. Now the product that we are looking for is field roast. So we could even come over here and search for it. Field roast, that's it. Hot and um, I think this should be it. Okay, that's it. As you can see, product cuts wrap. So that's what we are looking for. Now just just minimize all this and we need to get rid of all of them and just stick with only one. So I'm going to say N4 and just over here, I'm going to say for P in products. For P in products. So now we should see only just two red products over here. Now let's go ahead and change out all the dummy details that we've got for them. Now I'm just going to put my cursor over here and also put my cursor over here while holding down alternate. I'm going to hold shift alternate on my keyboard and hit the right arrow to select all out immediately. I'm going to remove that, hold down shift and open up double curly brackets. And in there, I'm going to say P dot image, the URL. Now we should see there are different images, um, a fresh pair and a lotion. Now we need to go ahead and also, you know, change the heart. So, you know, this hot stain over here, that's not what we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go p.get underscore percentage. Then it's supposed to be percent sign. And it's going to be a minus. Then over here, we refresh. Okay, that's not what we want. So, that's, this is supposed to be p.get percentage. So, let's refresh. Okay, problem, problem. So, we need to come over to the models. And I need to grab, I need to grab this exact keyword over here, this one, percentage, and I'm gonna get back to the vendor detail and paste that. Okay. Oh, the problem is that over here, this is called percentage. Wow, I'm just seeing that now instead of percentage. Okay, so that's the problem. Now this should work, but we need to add a float format at the back over here. So I'm gonna say float format and um we need to make that zero because we don't want to see it at minus 34.0 or all that so now let's change out the title let's change out the 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 name of the vendor over here or and instead of the name of the vendor we could just put the category over there so if, instead of hodo food i'm just gonna put the name of the category over there and that should be p dot p dot kati kati gori dot title and um, just over here, this one is going to be, let's say, P dot title. That's what it should be. Now I'm going to say truncate chars, and I'm simply going to pass in four. So you guys should see what it does. So you see, it's it we pass in four, so it only gets only four alphabets from there, F, E, R, then this, making it four. If we say we want to get the first five, as you can see, it gets only the first five. And we are passing that in because if a user passed in a very, very, very long title, we don't want to display everything here or it's going to break our, our website, okay? So you want to truncate charts and pass in something really understandable over there. Now, I'm going to comment this one out. For now, we don't need this. Also, we don't even need this. You know, I'm also going to comment this one out. We don't need that for now. 
we're gonna be doing that in the future videos or i might even give you guys an assignment to do that after we have done the product review so you guys will see exactly how that's supposed to be done now in here what were you supposed to add in what was even there i think that was the description so that should be p dot description and we'll refresh now that's it the description now we need to get the old price and the new price so this one is going to be the the old price p dot old underscore price and we also need to get the the main price so that one is going to be p dot price okay so i guess that's pretty much it for this video um I guess that's it. Now let's go ahead and list out all the categories over here and um, it should be done. So I'm going to say filter by, okay, this actually is supposed to be a filter, right? But there's no problem. I'm just going to say filter. This one is fill, fill by price, right? Fill by price. And I'm just going to minimize this and um, get rid of it. I don't need that. And what I just need is the categories. So I'm just going to get rid of all these other categories and I'm going to end for and over here, I'm just going to say for C in categories. And we could just go ahead and change up all those other, other things over here. I'm just going to say C dot image, the URL. And for the milk and diaries, I, I'm just going to say C dot title. And we need to also count that. So in the two counts, I'm just going to say C dot category dot all dots count so we refresh that's it so i think that's gonna be it for this video to make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me and in the next video we should go ahead and start working with the product detail view and after the product detail view then we'll start working on the most interesting thing that i've built here which is the product rating followed by filtering products that was one of the most interesting things so guys that's it make sure to drop a like consider subscribing as it really mean the world to me and also if you want to get a template check out the link in the description they should point to the right direction and yeah until the next video my love peace out